Welcome back gamers. After my last review, I figured I'd do something a little bit different. So today I'm checking out the two-player card game Blink, which is a terrible game that I actually like. Of course, if you already know how to play Blink, go ahead and click on the box and jump right to my conclusions. Otherwise, let's find out what you get in this tiny box and how you play the game. It's board games with peanuts. Inside of Blink from the makers of Uno, ugh. You'll find a deck of cards and some rules. Wow. The game revolves around this 60 card deck full of these cards with different symbols, colors, and numbers of symbols on them. And this is really my only, uh, I guess, egregious concern with the game. This graphic design is freaking terrible. I mean, even the backs of them are hard to look at. What is this font? But I think there could really be a better way to do this, but it works for what you're trying to do. To play the game, you shuffle the deck and split it into two equal 30 card decks. You then have each player draw three cards, and then you put one from the top of the, each deck in the middle of the table. Each player picks up their hand, takes a peek, flips over their respective card, and start playing. You play from your hand, trying to match either symbols, so I can play these gray moons on these moons, color, I can play this gray, I guess drips or balloons on this gray moon, so it's the same color, or the number. I can play this two flowers on these two moons, because it's the same number. Each time you play a card, you're supposed to draw one back. We end up running through and then trying to redraw real quick, and you're trying to run out of your deck as fast as possible. You and your opponent are doing this at the same time, ramming hands into each other, putting cards underneath your opponent just before they put it. And the gameplay is actually a lot of fun. It's crazy and it takes like two minutes to play a whole game. We use this sometimes to determine who goes first, or just at the end of our game sessions we want something light and fun to play, we throw a blink on the table. Now, I think there could be a really nice gamer version of this. Give me some special powers, change these icons to something a little more flashy, change the back. And you'd have a really successful game. I mean, this game has been out for 20 years, and I think everything about it just is going to hurt it. It says it's from the makers of Uno. That's going to put gamers off of it. It has this terrible artwork. I mean, it even shows you on the back of the box. Like, oh my gosh, this is for preschoolers. But I really think you could really amp this game up, and it'd be a lot of fun. And, and even without that, it is actually a lot of fun, you know, minus strategy or the kind of theme or anything I look for in a game, which is... I don't know. Interesting, I guess. Altogether, I guess I'll say that Blink is a fun game. I don't think it's a good game. Objectively, I can't say it's really well designed. Like I said, the, the things I like in games, theme and strategy and, and the, the quality and the art, it's just not there. It's just about the fun of going really quick and trying to beat your opponent over this. I always lose, but I still like playing it. And, you know, as a little gift that my partner got, just because everyone knows that we're game nerds, I was really surprised. I saw this on the shelf just a couple days ago and was like, what the heck is this? Why do we have this? And we tried it, and it's fun. What can I say? So, if anyone out there wants to make a really cool gamer's version of this, do it and let me know. I'd pick it up, give me some powers, let me undo one of my opponent's moves, put some cool artwork on here. I mean, I mean even if the, just the blue flowers and the drops, they look cool, maybe Dixit style which would make you think a little bit also. It might slow the game down a little bit, but I think it would be a really neat game. If you're into it, you can find it like used and stuff on Amazon for cents, basically. So if you're into that, you'll probably get some fun out of it. It's only for two players. It's just a quick thing that maybe you and a spouse or you and you know, a sibling can do real quick. But I mean, if, if this has you interested in all, check it out.